100. We have the 600 wedge here and we have it on the pier. We're gonna tighten down the six bolts now that the plates are separated. All right, now that we have the base plate attached to the pier, we're gonna put on the adjustable azimuth portion. And the tongue for the azimuth adjustment goes obviously in this block where the screws will adjust when we pull our line. All right, we have the sleeve that's gonna go between the two plates. Tighten down the sleeve first, and then you can go ahead and put in the six azimuth adjustment bolts. And during the install, snug these up hand tight. It's important that the system doesn't flex when we start loading everything on top. So the hardware, you have the conical, the conical washer goes on first, and then you have the top cone piece, and the brass knob will thread on top. So the university here is at about 40 degrees north latitude, so I'm just using a digital bubble level on my phone. I'll intentionally leave it a degree or so high, so when we do polar alignment, gravity will help us pull it down just so we don't have to pull against the whole system's weight. All right, so we're at about 40.8, so that's okay for now. Gravity will help pull it down when we pull our line tonight. Alright, we're just about ready to crane lift. We're gonna start with the mount. Gonna get that sucker rigged up, raise it in, put it on the wedge. When you lay down in an open field, when you saw my dreams are done in real, so unreal. Alright, we have the shoulder bolt. We're gonna put it in the base of the L600, and that's gonna allow us to slot it into the wedge easier to tighten on the bolt. When you see the sun. Okay, we have the L600 on the wedge, and I went ahead and I tightened all six bolts in a circular pattern, making sure that all of them are firmly tightened down and secured onto the wedge. attached to the telescope. We routed most of the cables and now we gently loosened the deck axis and we're using the lead screw system to balance deck. And once that's balanced, we'll move on and balance the right ascension. Remember, it's important to balance the accessories evenly across the optical tube as much as you can for the back plate. Okay, we use the lead screw and we balance deck. So now, wherever we point it, it will gently come to a stop.
So with minimal effort, we notice now that the deck is balanced well, and we're gonna move on, balance the right ascension axis. All right, so we have the right ascension locking mechanism. We're gonna loosen this and see how we are balanced in right ascension. So the right ascension is out of balance enough that the sliding weight accessory in the base is not compensating enough. So we're gonna use our quarter inch T handle to loosen the four bolts on the side of the dovetail. And then the eight bolts that are on the inside, you just crack them and we'll use our lead screw to actually shift the weight of the L600 to balance the right ascension. Okay, it took quite a few turns to balance this one. We had to move the lead screw from the far edge here. It was on the left, but we moved it about an inch to the right. So the right ascension arm had to go further away from the center of gravity here. But right now, it moves pretty smooth. And you notice it doesn't slam one direction or the other, so we're safe to say that both axes are balanced now, and we'll connect to the computer and do the direct drive motor tuning. Okay, so Eric's going to show how the system is balanced well enough that you can move it with one hand, and it doesn't stop immediately, but then again, it is not running away due to imbalance. The actual bearings are really smooth, so the system can basically just float when it's balanced well. So from here, go ahead, tune the direct drive motors. I made sure everything is tightened down. All the bolts are fully secured on the wedge and on the telescope, because you don't want any vibrations to ruin the motor tuning. Well, that's it for here at Brigham Young University. We've got the system installed. Tonight, sadly, we clouded out, so we can't do the polar alignment. But everything went well. We started at about 7.45, 8 this morning. It's almost 8 right now in the evening. So 12 hours later, system's fully installed. They'll give it first light when they get clear skies. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.